Hi DIYers, Joe from Alarm Grid here, and today we're going to show you how to add an image sensor board to a Qualsys IQ2. Now before you go and install this card, which is a daughter module, into your Qualsys IQ2, you may want to just make sure which model of the IQ2 you do have, as there are different variants that support different things. The regular IQ2 panel supports the 319.5 MHz sensors, which work, which are Qualsys sensors and Enologic sensors. They'll work directly with the system. If you have an IQ2 Plus though, there are different variants of that which support different sensors. There's one variant that supports the Honeywell 345 megahertz sensors, and there's also a variant that supports uh, the, 440, the 433 megahertz sensors which are native to DSC. The new panels though, those IQ2 Panel Plus, they have the PowerG module installed inside of the system, and if you are using PowerG sensors, you're going to have to make a decision before you go and install the, uh, the image sensor module to the system. The reason being is that the module for the PowerG and the module for the image sensor card, they both require the same antenna, and there's only one of those antennas inside of the system. So if you do have an IQ2 Panel Plus and you are using PowerG, you're going to have to make a decision as to whether you want to use the PowerG or the image sensors with the system. Today though, we're going to show you how to install this module inside of the system, plug in the antenna to it, and get it to work. So, when you take your Qualsys panel off of its backplate, there's three screws that you may encounter. I'm going to take the backplate off now just to show you where all these could be. The main one is going to be the uh, one that's mounted right in the middle on the bottom right here. It's a little set screw that'll keep the backplate, or keep the system on the backplate. So I take the system off the wall, you'll see there's a little thread hole right there where a screw sits to keep it in there. Now, if you have this desk mounted or if you've just gotten your panel and you're just taken out of the box, you'll notice that there may also be two screws in the top, in the top two corners. These are the screw threads right up here. You're going to have to remove these also to get this system off of its back plate. So if you have removed the bottom one and you're still finding that you're not able to take it off of the back plate, it's likely that these two screws are in here. Now you may notice that you're going to have to remove these anyways to get these onto the wall or to get the back plate mounted on the wall because you have to take this off to be able to access the keyhole right here and this main mounting opening right there. So just keep in mind there may be three screws on your Qualsys system that you have to remove to take it off of its back plate. If it's desk mounted, you'll likely have these two in the top that you have to take out, or if it's right out of the box, brand new. Uh, in most situations though, you will have the set screw right here on the bottom, so just keep your eyes peeled for all those. So, on our IQ panel two, what we're gonna do first is power down the system. So slide down from the top, click on settings, do advanced settings, enter user code. and then we're gonna enter the default dealer code 222. I'm going to click power down, I'm going to say OK, and the system's going to turn off. So after the light turns off and the screen is dead, let's click the, there's two bottom buttons on the bottom of the system. You click them both and it opens the system up and allows us to hinge it down. Now this little white tab right here, this is actually going to hold the system up while we work on it. And we're going to want to make sure to unplug the main power plug. So I have that out, system's down, and as you can see, that white tab is going to hold the system up and allow us to do what we have to do. So, the module area that we're going to install our image sensor card is this space right here. And this little wire, this is actually the antenna. Here's our image sensor card. As you can see, the female plug right there is going to connect to these pins on the card. All that I have to do is place it over the board, press down firmly and evenly, and then you're definitely going to want to install the screw on the right side just to make sure it doesn't wobble around. With that set, Take your antenna, place it on the port, and 
make sure it goes in nice and even. We're good to go. So now you're going to want to take your power plug, re-plug it in to the barrel connector. Put everything through your cutout, and then hinge the panel down onto its base. After you have it clipped in and secure, press the power button on the right side of the unit until the LED turns on, and then the system will go through its boot process. So as you can see, the system is now booted back up. So just to make sure that we have our daughter card installed properly, let's hit the top button to slide down. We'll do settings. We'll do advanced enter settings. I'm going to enter that same default 2222 code, and I'm going to go to system tests. From here, you can click on daughter cards test, and then the image sensor module is right here. I'm going to click on run, and as you can see, the result is passed, showing that we did install the module correctly. That's how to install an image sensor module in your Qualsys IQ2. If you do have any questions about installing this, the system itself, or what the daughter card can support, feel free to give us a call at 888-818-7728. Head over to our website, www.alarmgrid.com or send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe, and if you want to be notified when we post future videos, hit the notification button below, and we'll send you an update when we do so. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.